turtles. Yeet, yeet. Ooh, Oh, yeah. Enjoying my reactions, but you don't feel like waiting a week for the next upload? That's cool, because I got you covered. Chances are, by the time you watch this show on YouTube, I'll already have the full seasons available over on Patreon in their complete unedited glory. All you gotta do is become a tier 2 patron. And if you just so happen to be a viewer who wants to request things from me, such as movies and shows, then you can take your loyalty even further by becoming a tier 3 patron. The ball is in your court, and I'm completely at your service. So take advantage of these opportunities now. Yo, what's going on you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer, here with me, myself, and I on the ones and twos, and this is Way 18 Reactions, the place where I react to everything I ain't never seen. And today we're going green for some more TMNT 2003 reactions. Now guys, I just gotta ask, because I've been noticing something in terms of the actual reception that we get for these reactions. Everybody goes on and on about how TMNT 2003 is a very goaded iteration of this series, but it doesn't necessarily feel that way based on what we've been getting uh, for the views. Um, I was under the impression that you guys would really turn up and turn out for our reactions to TMNT 2003, but it would be very nice if I said that it was a lukewarm reception because I think that's like an understatement. It is like barely anything it's like we don't really get that much response when it comes to these things and um i was just like man like should we keep going should we keep reacting to this i know my wife she's bowed out a long time ago she's already stressed that she doesn't necessarily like this series but i just find it funny that rise of the tmnt we got a better reaction to that and you already know how it looked when we were reacting to tmnt 2012 you guys really showed up for that but for TMNT 2003, whether it's on YouTube or Patreon, we really don't even get nothing. You know, we don't really get a response for that. So that is a bit concerning. I don't know if I should just continue watching this at my own personal time or if I should share these reactions with you guys. So by all means, I'm going to uh, release some kind of like a uh, poll to see if you guys are really interested because it seems to be somewhat of an interest there whenever I don't post TMNT 2003 when um, it's supposed to be scheduled to post on Tuesdays on patreon and on uh youtube but who knows man but anyways last time we left off man we saw something pertaining to april where it was kind of centered around her um her uncle augie was this uh, archaeologist or some kind of adventurer and she found this puzzle cube which sent them to this tropical paradise or at least we thought it was a paradise but it turned out to be a tropical uh hell hole full of evil hornets and uh, they were able to overcome those, but I did like how they were utilizing the uh, the weapons and stuff in this world, you know, because they left their real weapons over in the real world, so they had to use the environment and craft their own weapons. Uh, over on the next episode, this is the one I liked pertaining to this classic comic book team known as the Justice Force. Mikey really wanted to see how the story concluded with them, but somehow they were able to be zapped into the real world and Mikey found himself thrusted into that final chapter of that particular team. Like, I thought that was very brilliant writing. Like, once again, we start to see the, um, the love that the creators of this series have for those other uh, comic book genres that inspired them to bring on TMNT. Obviously, the Justice League, and then you have Marvel's um, Avengers and all these other characters. You can kind of see those influences and uh, somewhat parodies up in this series, and I really, really love that, man. Really, really do. I, I don't. I feel like it's joking. It's pointing. It's poking fun at some of those things because you know TMNT. It's it's very much a parody of Daredevil. But I feel like they they do equal respect. You know they pay equal respects to the uh, source material that they're inspired by. So yeah, shout outs to the writers for that. But anyways, man, let's go ahead and jump into this next episode, man, because I am hyped to watch this. This is gonna be episode twenty three, titled Big Brawl Part One. Let's do this. Okay, kick baby, punch baby, kick baby, punch baby. Oh, step up to me if you want to, boys. Oh, you cut those in half? Nice. <laughs> Splinter, bro. The truth. <sighs> Back to my usually scheduled programming. Leonardo, you are in charge. <laughs> keep an eye on the others. But where are you going, Sensei? Do not worry. I will return soon. Don't ask any questions. Just do as you're told. Again, I pose 
pose the question, what's up with Master Splinter? <laughs> I don't know, but don't you guys remember? He went away like this three years ago. Maybe he's got a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> hey! There's one way to find out what Master Splint is up to. We follow him. No. He said we're not supposed to leave the lair. He also said you need to keep an eye on us. So you keep an eye on us while we keep an eye on him. As much as I disagree with this, I think it's going to be in their best interest because I already know something's going to pop off. We've seen that from the actual preview. Does he have some kind of interdimensional space travel or something he's going to use? Like a portal or some shit? <laughs> he probably knows that they're following him. Alright, Splinter's into graffiti, I see. Ooh! <laughs> You'll make way for fight these out. <clears throat> it's a water door. Nice. Okay, that was freaky. <laughs> that was. Can y'all reenact that? It's rock solid. Yeah, like your head. <laughs> Maybe there's a door here or something. You know, the chanting was familiar, but the symbols, I've never seen those before. There's always a way. All right. Let's see if this science helps. Oh, no. Okay. Nice going, Donnie. You got any chalk in your magic bag of tricks? This is clever. I like how they're doing this. That ought to do it. All right, Leo. Give it a shot. You gonna say the magic chant? It goes nothing. Mumayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayawayaway
Hey, what the fuck? Okay, so he's fighting Goro's cousin. Come on, Splinter. Shit. I really gotta show y'all, man. He ain't no old rat, man. He, he really about that life. Battle Nexus rules clearly state that there can be no external interference between contestants. <laughs> yeah, they got to sit this one out, man. It's like Hulk Hogan with four arms. Let me tell you something, brother. Fast. Huh. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, swing from the beard. Yeah. <laughs> they always finish everything with a kick in this show. Yeah. Supposed to stay at home, not follow me here. Get in there. I am very disappointed. I'm sorry, Sensei, but I just don't blame Leo, Master Splinter. I kinda talked him into it. <laughs> Victory for Hamato Splinter of Dimension Third Earth. That's right. Protect uh, Master Splinter! Bruh. Oh no, no. The Jin is not an enemy. <laughs> My nigga. Fort comrade. I had such hopes of beating you. And you almost did, old friend. It was a most valiant contest. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got him. <laughs> oh, this is rich. Too rich. <laughs> you guys nigga don't ever tell us nothing. Allow me to tell you a story about your sensei. Hey, wanna hear this? You would not bother, oh, no, it's this time we were at the strip club. Father, comrade. Listen up, young ones. Down through the centuries and across the multiverse, the greatest warriors have always searched for great challenges. At this place was born, a nexus where beings from a multitude of different worlds wow. could pit themselves against worthy challenges. It's like the game of death. The battle nexus tournament. Hey. The tournament of NPCs. Ooh, that's cool. And not long after that, your master entered the competitions as well. He surprised and impressed many with his courage, skill, and honor as he led him to a final battle with one of the fiercest of all the fighters, Draco. Draco. Started from the bottom, now the state's clear. Yeah. Fuck with a real dragon to find out. Tail whip. Yeah, Mushu, he ain't in the play with, I see. The match was halted, and Splinter was given the chance to forfeit. What? But he would not. You gonna do the karate kid technique? Gonna put some stints on there, alright. He was about to split his leg and continue the contest. I see why I'm a radical rat, bitch! Hey! I swear my bomb talks fist! Now even <laughs> I believed it when Split managed to triumph over Draco! Why is Draco fighting back though? He's just letting Splinter kick him. Truly, he was the best of the best that day. It was nothing. This is huge! I won the competition, but that is all. Yeah, it's nigga. It's like finding out your dad is Superman! <laughs> ah, but wait. There's more. <laughs> okay, Billy Mays. Mr. OxyClean. <laughs> Bitch, come here! You know you didn't win fair and square. Yeah, this is all that dragon's doing. He wants his revenge for losing. Sick! Oh, shit. Hey, I'm Splint. He just kicked your Splint. Hey, Usagi, is this Usagi? About to show you that tricks aren't just for kids. Nice. Hey, Wow. 
Sheesh. Oh, Draco. It's over. Bro, I beat you. Is it Cyclops? The fuck? Oh. This dude again. <laughs> Let's get out of here, niggas. Using his mystical war staff until Draco <laughs> played like the coward he is. Like the little bitch he is. We are honored by your return, Sensei. It is I who am honored. I cannot tell you what a pleasure it is to see my good friend in the ranks of gallant warriors. And now your sons are here to compete. This is truly a great day. The four Earthers were not registered properly. However, they did win a match in the qualifying round. Excellent. Then by my decree, they shall be entered into the contest. All right. Here we go, man. Tournament Fighters 2.0. Mm. Uh, should I? Perhaps that they were not ready to compete. But perhaps fate is showing an overprotective father that his sons are growing up. They may enter. <laughs> now that that is happily settled, I have an important point of honor that must be addressed. What's that? By my son. Ah, oh, this nigga. What is this? Some kind of trick? No trick. I swear it. Honored Sensei, I know that when last we met, I challenged Leonardo to a mortal duel. It was a rash act. I beg your forgiveness. Look who's turned over a new leaf. <laughs> Your apology is most gracious. We accept. Hell yeah. I'm sorry, Sensei, but I don't think I can compete. My swords, they were broken. Father, we must help him. Of course. We have an exemplary palace swordsmith. Fear not. All right, let's go. The Gyoji will see to it that your swords are repaired and brought to you. As you see around you, this is the pavilion of past champions. Splinter got his statue over there. Fame. Here are two statues that may interest you. Wow. Awesome. Imagine our sensei and his sensei have statues in the Hall of Fame. That's cool. Come, we must go. Thanks, Grandpapa. Oh shit. These things can phase through things? What is this? Shadow cat? Wow. I'm that nigga. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he senses them. What's up, Leo? Why well, look like they own a shredder statue? But guys, that concludes part one of the big brawl. So yeah, man, they have an actual Battle Nexus tournament going on. And the multiverse does exist in the 2020, oh, not 2023. Why was I going to say that? The 2003 or 2003 uh, TMNT show, man. That is cool that they confirmed that that's an actual thing up in this. Because we know it's been a uh, fixture for quite some time. You know, um, there are different versions of the turtles that exist in all the different universes. Which I always argue when people have a problem with certain iterations. Rise of the TMNT. Uh, yeah, there was a turtle for everyone in each respective universe that they come from. And this right here is going to open up the floodgates, you know. Uh, in essence, this is a continuation to one of the earlier episodes that we saw revolving around a tournament between, between um, uh, Leo and the uh, guy, the Daimo or whatever his name is. You know, like he, um, Daimyo, if I'm not mistaken, if that's his name. Um, yeah, his son tried to fight Leo to be the ultimate warrior or something like that, but ended up losing. And now we see that, yeah, there's a bigger picture to that. Like, in Splinter, he was going to enroll in the tournament yet again. Like, this is something that he does every other year or whenever it takes place. And he was going to clean house, man. Like, I love that. I really love that Splinter, during his personal time, whenever he wants to get away from these knuckleheads, goes out to uh, participate in this fucking massive multiversal affair revolving all these other skilled and talented warriors. So, uh, yeah. 
really really love this one if i were to rate it i would give it a high s like it's cool it expands on the lore um we got a chance to see my man um who uh, if i'm not mistaken is usagi uh usagi yo yojimbo um who is um always tied to the turtles but he's not necessarily a turtle character he exists in his own comic books but you know since this is the um you know the multiverse or whatever they're able to utilize him in certain aspects so uh yeah um i, I want to say that's usagi right is that usagi ojimbo who knows but uh yeah it was just tight seeing him you know and see him actually come to the aid of splinter when he was getting attacked by those assassins from uh draco but um, anyways, guys, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to waste any more time. I just want to go ahead and jump into the next episode because this is exciting. So let's say we do that with um, episode twenty-four, titled "Big Brawl Part 2. So let's see what it do. Here we go. Yeah, these little bitches back there and everything. Let's go. It is Traximus, the gladiator from the Triceraton homeworlds. Imagine Traximus being here. This place just gets wilder and wilder. Where is Leonardo? The tournament will stop soon. Please tell me you can detect arrows. Oh yeah. Good shit. I'm sorry, Master Yoshi. That's already a bad omen. <laughs> mm. Damn, it's like that. Had to grab a weapon, bro. Okay, where did everybody go? Shit. This has to be Count Drago or whatever his name is, Draco. Good shit. You fight with an honor assassin. <laughs> Let's do this. Thanks for saving my shell. You are welcome, Kaba. I am Leonardo, and I am in your debt. I am Miyamoto Usagi. Oh! competitor in the Battle Nexus tournament. I was passing by when I saw you set upon by those dishonorable assassins. Your mind and your weapon must be as one, or you will certainly perish. Yeah, I know. My sensei is always telling me the same thing. Any other advice? Yes. Duh. <laughs> I thought this is just a conversation between a turtle and a hare. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, we're going with the Tompus. Come on now. There you go, use them feet. Yeah, this nigga can use his ponytail too? Razor sharp and to the point. Oh wow, the helmet. Does that look like Shredder's helmet? You? Yeah, eerie, huh? Dude, there you go running like little bitches again. I have to tell you, Usagi-san, the way you fight, I'd rather not go up against you if I can help it. <laughs> the feeling is mutual. You'll be wise. Master Leonardo, your swords have been repaired. I trust you will find them worthy. Let's go, baby. Katana Rama back in the Thank house. You. You two must hurry. The next stage of the Battle Nexus tournament is about to begin. D, the fuck ah, is this? Yanosuke. I am surprised to see you here. Mm. Why is that? I did not think you went in for contests of honor. Honor? <laughs> no, I'm not in it for honor. I'm in it for the food. I'm in it for the money. Oh, wow. Just between you and me. I've placed a huge wager on myself to win. You will never change, Gen Chan. Mm -hmm. Why would I? You don't change perfection. Really? Does Rocksteady share those same sentiments? Yo, Leo! I thought you were gonna show! What took you, bro? 
I ran into trouble in the pavilion of past champions. I got attacked. Attacked? Are you all right? I'll survive. Let the contest begin! <laughs> Oh wow, we're going down on the ground? <laughs> Looks like it's just you and me. <laughs> Warriors, first tier. Big <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be a cakewalk for Splinter. You already know he's good for it. <laughs> The fuck? He's like Casey Jones. Like an alien version of him. Man, what is this? Crow from uh, All Real Monsters? How you gonna handle this dude? Buckethead over here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah! Should never put a roach up against a spider. Wonder if all the brothers are gonna win in this tournament. <laughs> Boy, they got all kind of species of this shit. Nice. Okay, so this guy isn't just all talk. He can actually back up his arguments and shit, his claims. Finish him. Damn, Raffles ready to kill somebody? Yeah, take that, Ipkis. What shame you call this a draw? And I'll spring for the other half of that haircut. Where's your sense of humor? You dare mock koala man? Mm. The winner, Michael Angelo. <laughs> hey, I'm done. Don't tell me you finna lose. Come on, bro. You got it in you, man. Come on. You have failed me. I knew it. Leonardo still lives. Forgive us, young lord. We will not fail you again. Good. Because next time the price for failure will be your lives. Perhaps the destruction of Leonardo was premature, my lord. Is this a dragon? Did you not first secure the throne. You dare question me? Do not forget your place, counselor. Yes, my lord. I have suffered enough in the name of patience. That's right. I have bowed before them. I have begged their forgiveness as my father wished. But now. My time has come. I will take the throne from my father, and I will become the supreme Damio of the Battle Nexus. And I will make the turtles and their rat master pay for their insolence to me with their lives. This ain't gonna work in your favor, sir. Alright, so it's, it's an even bigger pizza, DiGiorno style. <laughs> yeah, get violated. Oh shit. Boy, these guys get uglier and uglier. Are you gonna keep my shell now? Yeah. I think I will. my son. Boy, this is epic. You never know who's gonna face each other. It's been pretty cool fighting like this. Out in the open, having everybody love us for it? Yes. This year it is your competition, not mine. Aww. When my sons fight with honor, they honor their master. <laughs> you gonna do bow out to him? You must deliver a finishing blow to end the match. Are you serious? Are you gonna do it? Thanks, Sensei. 
I'm surprised, man. I am very much surprised that he did that. I guess he already has a win on his belt. I see the master of ninjutsu lost to the father in you. Yes, I suppose so. It is just that if my sons can win, I do not wish to stand in their way. Okay. At least we're keeping the Hamato legacy alive. Hey, I think perhaps you're mistaken, Raphael. I feel sorry to have to be the one to knock you out of the tournament. <laughs> right? You know what this is. Stay down, little one, or you may get hurt. Thanks for the advice, Trax, but you better take it yourself. This sword's get bigger or his side. It's just like you said, Usagi son. We have to fight each other. Fate often has such a wry sense of humor. Come! Let us fight as friends and may the best swordsmen win! Let's see who can win the race out of the turtle versus the hare. Green versus white. I don't, know, I don't think Leo is going to take this one. You should be proud to have raised such fine warriors and sons. Yes, I am proud. Though they can be a little too willful at times. They can be a little annoying brats at times. If only fathers could make their sons understand, we're only trying to protect them from their own inexperience. This nigga signing out hit pieces and shit. exactly what you mean, old friend. But tell me, there is something familiar about this samurai my son Leonardo faces. He should look very familiar. He saved your ass. the same young samurai in training that came to your aid when Draco ambushed you some years ago. He is already a ronin at such a tender age, <laughs> but his sword arm is skilled far beyond his years. Excuse me, I must attend to a small matter. Really? Will you join me later when this bout is over? It would be my honor, Damio. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> did my man just do the Johnny Cage? Bro, they need to quit they shit. <laughs> so. You're gonna have to be quicker than that, Dino Boy. <laughs> Dino, your ass. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, good shit. Yeah, you out of your league, bro. I call this the land before snap. Yeah, this is a battle I will soon forget. Yeah, I guarantee you won't. <laughs> okay, I give it to Ralph, man. He going all out. <laughs> Yeah! Three of the two best turtles will be in this shit. My lord, I strongly advise against this rash course of action. Your counsel has been heard and overruled. Now keep silent. I command it. Mm -hmm. Yes. My lord. I damn you. And so. It is time for Leonardo to suffer for his past effrontery. This ugly nigga. Why are you like somebody from Jackie Chan? Oh no! How you gotta cheat like this? Are you fucking kidding me? Usagi! I... I... Leonardo! No! <laughs> Is that Luke Kane? Alright guys, so that concludes part two of the big brawl. 
So, Daimyo Jr. over here, he really has it out for Leo since he wasn't able to become the ultimate ninja warrior the last time they had their fights. Meanwhile, we have all these other things going on too. You know, you have the brothers doing battle and stuff. And it was so cute and honorable of Splinter to just go ahead and give the win to Mikey because he already knew Mikey didn't stand a chance against him because it's Splinter, man. The ultimate ratatou or ratatouille or rat attack, <laughs> you know, if you want to call it that. You know, he don't play no games. Uh, we already know he about that life. So it was very cool to see him actually, you know, just hand Mikey that win, man. Um, it's also cool to see Raph fight somebody that's twice as big as him. But you know, Raph, he has a lot of fury built up inside him, and I don't think that's matched by anyone. You know, he. Uh, always takes the cake when it comes to that aspect of his personality. He has a lot of built up rage and when he utilizes it in the right manner, he's able to actually get the win on something as we saw that he uh, did with that Triceraton, um, what's his name, uh, Traximus or whatever. So yeah, shout outs to Ralph, man. But we gotta figure out what the fuck is going on with this goddamn Daimu Jr. guy, you know? Like, there's so much stuff going on up in this. Uh, I guess they're gonna give the win to Usagi since Leo essentially passed out in front of everybody. I don't even know who's the ref now because Daimyo, the ultimate Dai Daimo, he's gone to take care of other business. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with his son because there was a note that was passed down to him. So, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, as I mentioned in this episode, this was very reminiscent of the Tournament of Power. Like, if you remember, we had those old uh, NES and Super Nintendo and Sega games. This was very reminiscent of that. Like, especially the Sega version where it was like this intergalactic affair and you were fighting all these different aliens and stuff like that with the turtles. And I think that was the first time you could actually play as April in a TMNT game, you know, where you could just participated in this tournament against all these other uh beings that were equally as powerful as the turtles so um very much enjoying this one i'll give this episode an s as well you know it's just fun to see the tmnt bros showcase their skills against other characters outside their wheelhouse so um yeah but anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. I hope you enjoyed this reaction because, as always, we have a blast reacting to these things with you and for you. If there's anything that I may have missed or got misconstrued, by all means, provide the proper context in the comment section below, and I promise I will get back to you. But once again, this is your boy RBG, a.k.a. The Random Black Gamer. We ain't seen the reactions. I'll catch you guys on the next reaction, too. TMNT 2003. Peace.